Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the R and R Studio Basic series. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to create an R project. This is an outline of today's content. So, what is an R project? An R project can be think of as a file or folder in your computer, or a storage area. Or just a working directory, and what can be included in an R project?、Uh, you can put R scripts in it, and data sets that you will use in the project in that working directory, and also、uh, when you generate some outputs from your code, you can save it in the project too. And later on,、uh, you will learn how to use R Markdown files to、uh, create reproducible reports. You can also put R Markdown files in an R project, and also the outputs of those R Markdown files. And of course, you will only put related things in a particular R project. Okay, and for other stuff, you should create a new R project. Okay, then how to create an R project? Ah,、uh, two ways in R Studio. So let's see how to create an R project in R Studio. It's very simple. The first way is to click this、uh, project tab here,、okay. and then click New Project, and then、uh, it asks you whether or not you want to save the current working space image. I have nothing to save, so I just click Don't Save, and then R Studio starts to create a new project for me. Sometimes it takes a while. All right, finally it's out. Okay, you can choose to create a new directory or existing directory, or even a version control repository. Okay, so now let's choose to create a new directory, and we will create a new project. So click this one, and then、uh, give a directory name or project name. For example, I want to、uh, create a project that contains all of the examples in Stat thirteen o one. So I just call it Stat thirteen o one exam examples. Okay. And then、uh, create a project as subdirectory of. So you can choose the physical、uh, location of your project. So for now, this is where I really want to save the project. So I will leave it there. If you、uh, want to create it somewhere else, you can just click browse、uh, and choose the location for that、uh, project. Okay. So I will just leave it like this and click create project. And you see automatically in this panel,、uh, in the Files tab, right, you see、um, the R project I just created is here.、Okay. So this is sort of like our current working directory.、Okay. We can verify it by、uh, using this get wd. Okay. So indeed, right, so the current working directory is the project I just created. Okay, so let me clean the R console. So this is how we create a R project in R Studio. The first way, very simple, right?、Uh, another way is to click File, and then click New Project, and then you will get the same window that asks you to、uh, create a new directory or existing directory or a version control repository. Can you see same window? Okay, we can just cancel it because we already have the project. And then whenever we have the project,、uh, we probably want to create an R script, and、uh, which contains some R code in it.、Uh, so, for example, let's create an R script. So, click File and then New File and then R script. Let me give it a title. For example. Lecture one examples. Okay, and then I do some simple calculation. Okay, so x equals 
uh, norm uh, 10 and y equals e to the x and plot x and y okay and then i can run this code and see the plot is over here okay and then uh, we can save this r script okay and uh, when i save it I can choose where I want to save it, but by default, it will be saved in the directory of my project. Okay. So I can call it lecture one, example, okay. save it. Click this files tab. You see that there is an R script created here. And we can also uh, save the output in the same folder or in the same directory. For example, I'll go back to plot, okay, click the plot tab, and then make it larger. It's a scatter plot. Okay. I can click export, and you can choose to export as an image. You have uh, different choices like PNG, JPEG, etc. Okay, or uh, you can choose to save it, export it as a PDF file, for example, as a PDF. Okay. And then you can choose the dimension in inches. For example, suppose I want to create a 5x5 five five PDF file. Okay. And then by default, you see the directory will be in the project. Okay. And give it a name. Got a plot one and save. And then click files, you see the plot is saved here. Okay, all of them are in the same directory, in the same folder. I stat 1301 examples. Okay. And uh, we can also put data set here. Okay. For example, uh, we can do the following. I suppose I want to put this folder in the project. I can copy it and then go back to the physical location of my project, okay, which is here, and paste it here. And then you see uh, in the files tab, you see the data set is already here. Okay. So one advantage of saving the data set in a project is it's very easy to read this data set. You don't need to specify a very long directory anymore. For example, I want to use the package read R to read in this CSV file. I can just call it uh, live expectancy is read underscore C CSV okay. and then specify the file. Okay. Since this one is already in the folder and uh, uh, in the same folder of my R script, I just need to specify the name of the file without specifying the whole directory. Okay. So let me run this too. Then you see, it's already uh, loaded. Okay. So before I put this data set in the project, I need to specify uh, the entire uh, directory, right? So this is very convenient too. So let me save this R script, okay, and then create an R markdown file. So click file, and then new file, and then new R markdown okay, and choose a title, for example, lecture one, examples, okay, same name, and then leave everything the same. And then, um, suppose in, in this R markdown file, um, I just want to uh, read in the data set and also create a plot. 
So I will do the following, uh, insert a chunk of code and then copy this whole thing here. Okay. And then probably uh, using the head function to take a look at the structure of the data set. This data set is about life expectancy of different countries in a few years. Uh, in particular, schooling is the average uh, school years uh, for people in the country. So we can create a scatter plot uh, to show the relationship between schooling and GDP. So let's use the ggplot2 package. Okay, take the data set and then create a ggplot. So x is uh, schooling. So the, and y should be uh, GDP. Okay. And I want to create a very basic scatter plot. I forgot to load the tidyverse package because uh, the pipe, the pipe operator is actually in the tidyverse package. Okay, so it looks that uh, this plot is not very informatic okay? because the relationship is not linear. We can uh, slightly modify the code because GDP is actually uh, very right skilled, okay? very right skilled and we uh, it's better to take natural log and then the relationship would be uh, more linear okay and then let's uh, knit this file to uh, for example uh, html file and then by default it will be saved here in the same project so i can just call it lecture one x again so don't worry because it has a different extension with the r code uh, you don't have any trouble of creating a file with that name and also you see this is the report okay, the output from the markdown file right? and automatically it is also saved in the same uh, project okay. and notice that it also read the data without specifying the directory because the data set is in the same project and another advantage of uh, our project is you can actually uh, move the entire project easily okay, without losing any information okay before we do that let me close the project okay, close the project how to close it click file and then I click close project and then R asks you if you want to save the workspace okay. click don't save okay. we don't need to save the results which are saving the workspace because we save the R script and R markdown file and lastly let's see how to move an R project uh, physically in your computer for example let's first find the project okay. if you don't know where it is you can click this dot 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 and then you can browse your computer okay. for example I know my uh, it is here and then so this is the project okay. and then I can click this dot dot to move up a level and then click this I check this box by the project and then click more okay. and then you are allowed to 
、uh, move it to somewhere else. For example, I want to click move, and、uh, and R asks you where you want to move it.、Uh, for example, I want to move it to、uh, another folder, okay, which is R lecture slides, and then click open, and then you see. It's gone. Okay, in the stat thirteen zero one folder, the project is gone. But if I click R lecture slides,、uh, you see is it is here. Okay, and you open it, everything is here. And since in the code, for example, in the R script, when we read in data set, we only specify the file name、okay, without any directory. Okay, even if we move the entire A project physically in the computer, we can still use the same code to read in the data without any、um, trouble,、okay? without any issue. Imagine if we specify the entire directory here.、Okay? Of course, if you don't move the project,、uh, it's fine. But if you move the project to another folder, another directory, then you need to modify this directory accordingly. Otherwise. Um, this will generate error. You cannot read in the data correctly. All right, that's all for today's video. I hope this is helpful. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.